Hi guys, welcome back to Jacob Arts. You read the title, you know what's going on. Cue the intro. Hello guys, welcome to Jacob Arts. Now, I can't find any information. Ow. Sorry, headache. Uh, I can't find any information on whether someone's already done this theory before it's been confirmed or denied by the FNAF canon, but I had a little mini game theory about Golden Freddy in the FNAF universe. So in FNAF 1, and I believe in all the other FNAF games, he cannot move normally like the other animatronics. He has to attack you by haunting, I believe. I was thinking, since he was one of the original Spring Rock suits, like Spring Bonnie, Fred Bear, so on and so forth, shouldn't, that is a thing that people can get inside of and it can function as an animatronic. So shouldn't there still be a working endoskeleton in there? So I was thinking, what if someone took it out? As we know, Purple Guy, aka Springtrap, aka William Afton, killed, was the killer of the FNAF series. Killed kids, and they possessed animatronics. Now, the kid he killed to make Golden Freddy was named Cassidy. And Cassidy, as we know now, was one of the many, was one of the few who really wanted revenge and she wanted it so bad that she went to great lengths to get it even sacrificing her own peace to live with William Afton in hell to torture him forever all the other animatronics still want revenge of course but anyway I was thinking what if someone who knew that she wanted revenge and was scared of her wanted to remove that endoskeleton. Who would do that? Maybe someone purple? Someone with a little blood on his hands? Purple Guy, aka William Afton, aka Springtrap, aka Scraptrap, aka the Faz Bear Killer. So, I have no proof to back this up except William Afton wanted to take precautions, even though he was wrong and he ended up living in hell with Golden Freddy. Anyway. Oh, I have no proof to back this up. It's such a mini theory. It's my first one. So just try to see my point of view. Mm -hmm.